You know who's next. Make some noise. Start it now for Markiplier. Hello. Hi. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Why is there another microphone here? I probably just screwed up the whole show by doing that. But hello. Hi. How's it going? My name is Markiplier, and I'm here to share something with you. Uh, when they asked me to come out on this stage, uh, I, I knew that I was going to be among uh, uh, other guests that were much more talented and able to actually sing and dance and do things like that. Oh, you know it's true. But the one thing they asked me to do was share something with you that I love. And as some of you may know, as some of you may not know, the one thing that I really, truly love is space. <laughs> I, a lot of space lovers out here. I love space. And when they asked me to share this thing, and no, I'm not going to sing the song. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, boo. No, no, no. Nah. I wanted to tell you guys the story of why I love space. And that really got me thinking about, you know, where that came from, where I fostered this deep connection to what amounts to a big nothing up there. Um, but it really does go deep with me because if I were to tell the story, I would have to go back to uh, my childhood. When I was about 12, uh, my parents had just gotten divorced and we didn't have a lot of money for video games. But my dad bought me this game called Homeworld. And I don't know if you guys know about this game, it's all right if you don't, but it's basically a game about space. And I loved it. I loved it, number one, because my dad spent what little money he had on this game for me to enjoy. And number two, it was really a good game. So I, I, I played the crap out of it. The music was great. The art was great. The, the vastness of it was wonderful. But 12-year-old uh, me really didn't appreciate it for what it was at the time. So I played it through a couple times and then shelved it for later. The next time that I thought about it uh, was about a week after my dad passed away. I was, I was in, still in shock. I hadn't let myself grieve about it. Uh, and I found myself, I was working a deck building job, as some of you may know. Um, and, and I went up to my boss because that particular day, I, I was feeling really off and as I should. Uh, and I told him I, I needed to take a break. He didn't deserve, like I didn't deserve to be paid if I wasn't gonna work well. So I left and I, I went to my mom's house and I, I laid down in her driveway and I just stared up and I look at the stars. And I, I stayed there for hours and hours, and I was just comforted by the emptiness of it, you know. I wasn't looking for any answers. I wasn't looking for anything to shout out at me. I was just looking up, because I needed the silence. I needed the solace. I needed the solitude. I, and then I had a thought, something I hadn't thought about since I was a child. I thought about that game. And I realized that I, I really wanted to play it again. And I wasn't sure why I wanted to play it again. I just had to play it again. So I went over to uh, my stepmom and dad's house. And in their basement, my dad was a creature of habit. He stored everything meticulously that he ever had. Every book that he read, every book that he published, every, uh, every piece of cookware that was passed down to our family, uh, old grills that didn't work anymore, you know. Uh, but in the back, in the very back, among all these bookshelves, was a game shelf with, in meticulous order, every single game that he had bought me over the years. And walking in, I didn't realize it, and it wasn't until I pulled that game from the shelf and I looked back and I saw this catalog of my dad's life that I realized just how much I missed him. And so I broke down and I was crying and I was crying. But then I, I pulled, opened the game and this is when game boxes used to be big. So it was big, big instruction manual, pop the CD and install it. Back in days when you had to install games off CDs. And then I played it, 
And I loved it. I loved everything about it, and I was grown up enough to appreciate how big it was out there. And then when I came back at, from playing the game, I was like 16 hours straight, just stuck in my, my stepmom's basement, just playing over and over again, crying intermittently, and then just, oh. I, and then I went back outside, it was dark, and I looked up, and it, and it didn't seem empty anymore. It was everything. I understood how vast it really was, and I understood how big it was and how small I am. And that's not a short joke, it's not a short joke. <laughs> but that's when I realized that I had to let my dad go and I gained an appreciation for something that's so much bigger than myself. So anyway, that's what I wanted to share with you. And that's what I love. So thank you, everybody. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.